pivot pin. Set it aside. Now our trigger and trigger guard assembly slides right out the bottom. Let's go ahead and take that apart at this point. Go ahead and pull the trigger. This is your hammer trip, flies up. It's only going to go so far. We're going to take it out first. Got to make sure you have the right sized punch. Now, there's a torsion spring on there, and I'm going to hold my finger over it and withdraw the punch. And now I can slide the hammer trip lever and its own torsion spring up and out. Well, now, now what do we got? We got the trigger and a little Allen screw right there. Let's go ahead and take the trigger out. It's held in place by this. Last but not least, the old style hammer. We've got the cross bolt safety. As you push this, the safety comes out here at the top. Got a screw here in the bottom. Unscrew that screw. Take it out, set it aside. Now that changes our firing pin plate. Actually, it doesn't change it, it retains it. Your firing pin plate turns top to bottom, so you're shooting either center fire or rim fire. Either way. So now I'm going to take that out. Now be aware that there's a ball bearing here and a ball bearing here with a spring between them. Okay, you can see right there as I push that out, you can see the ball bearing from the right side. There's a firing pin plate. There's the other ball bearing on this other side. I'll turn that so you can see. And in between them is this spring. Set those aside. Now we've got our safety. Slide it into position. Slide it into position like so. Take the pivot hinge pin. Make sure it locks into place. Unlock it. Unlock it. Good, good. Let's not forget.